I brought the mesh in here so now you kind of get an idea what it's going to look like. So now I have to fit the mesh to the frame. I went ahead and marked some locations where I'm going to put additional screws in there so I'm going to go ahead and center punch those and go ahead and drill them out. I've kind of got this um, grill temporarily mounted in here and I'm going ahead and cutting it to fit the frame with a pair of wire cutters. So I'll come back once I finish that. I've gone ahead and trimmed the wire mesh. It's ready to uh, test fit on the truck. I'm not sure whether I'm going to polish this or brush it or what. Anyway, that's what it's going to look like. Turned out fairly decent. Okay, I've marked where the screws are going to go in for the grill. I need to drill a hole here. So center punch where it's going to be. Looks like I'm going to have to open those holes up just a little bit more. So I'm going to get a bigger drill bit. Okay, I get a dr bigger drill bit. I can just open these holes up a little bit more. It's not fastened in yet, but it's in position, so that's what it's going to look like. Except I know, I'm not sure, I might polish this, and I don't know how I'm going to reach the back to actually get it in there, unless I take off this grill. But, that's a lot better if a bird hits that now, at least it's going to block it from damaging that transmission cooler. I have decided to go ahead and polish all the parts on the uh, the frame. So um, I'll polish this one here on camera and do the rest off because it's just uh, the same process over and over again. It's pretty time consuming. It is pretty good. It makes it nice and shiny, almost like chrome. I'll have to clean it off a little bit. It's got kind of a haze on there from the, the rouge that's used to polish it. I finished polishing everything I, uh, and reassembled it. This time though I used stainless screws and nuts on everything. And I also put, I don't, don't think you can see it there, but I put lock washers on the back of all these to help prevent it from coming apart. Um, from vibration of driving so you can see it's pretty shiny now so the next thing is installation on the truck I decided to spray paint these black I'm going to just paint them in place here but I want to put some uh, masking tape around here so I don't spray things I don't want to
Okay, I'll do that on the other side as well and it'll be done. Paint's not dry, but I'm going to peel this tape off anyway. I'm going to attempt to install this without taking the grill out. This grill. And I made a tool to try to reach up behind there and uh, hold the nut in place from a distance. So I'm going to tape it in place and see if it'll work. <clears throat> if it doesn't, I'll have to uh, take the grill out. This is the finished product. As you can see, it filled in that open space. And should keep birds and other flying debris from going in there and damaging that transmission cooler. And to give you an idea what it looks like installed, here's a kind of a wider view. 